Welcome all to this first in a series of modding tutorials by me, Commander Soul. Today we're going to look at the campaign map and how to add new regions. This is a series of tutorials for Divide and Conquer specifically, but most of the skills you will learn will be applicable to any other mod or the base game. This map, which you see before you here, is the map currently for Conflicts of Ariador, the submod I am developing. And I will talk you through today how to make a new uh, region. We are going to be focusing here, just below the Barrow Downs. What you will need are the following files. Map, map regions, map ground types, and map heights. All of these can be found at the following address. Data, world, maps, base. You will also need to delete map.rwm and the other files you will need are re description regions, description sounds music types, and back in the reg in data, world, maps, campaign, imperial campaign, description strat as well. Those are all of the files you will require. It also helps if you have a tool such as Total War Map Reader, which will tell you if you've made any errors. I will not be needing this, hopefully. To make a new region, you should select a color code. Uh, I'm using GIMP for this, but you can also... Uh, it's the best thing to use. Just use GIMP, please. It's so much easier than anything else. Then you need to select a color code that is not present anywhere else on the map, which for me should be 172, 190, 100. And then simply draw the outline to the region you want. It doesn't have to be pretty, because then you can fill in this region and touch up the borders. I am using hotkeys because it's how I use GIMP. There is something, oh, that's a quite a similar color actually. <laughs> that's not right. Let's just make it a little lighter there, 18. There we go. That is sufficiently different to everywhere else on the map. As you can tell from just a glance, there is no other region of this color. Now to add the settlement, you will want to first select zero, zero, zero. This is vitally important. Any other color pixel and your game will crash. It will not work. You can also use the um, map ground types to see if there's any impassable terrain, which is marked by the dark green, the red and the varying shades of red, which are ocean, the browny grayish color, that's mountains low, or just by uh, the gray coordinates, which are not actually present here, so I can't show you them. A pity, and I should have thought of that, but I didn't. But as you can see, there is nothing of those colors in this region. So I could plonk down my settlement anywhere. But I'm going to take a look here and see where the roads will generate. Uh, for, this is not going to be very pleasant, but that'll do. If you are also using a, if you, you are making a coastal settlement, you will also want to include a white pixel. This is pure white, 255, 255, 255 on the coast for the port. The game will work if you have a coastal region without a port, but it's better to have one there. Right, so then what we do is we take the color code here, 172, and we go to description regions, which I've got nicely open here. You go all the way down to the bottom, then you Follow the format as you see here with Dunland South. I'm going to use uh, Barrow Downs South Province. 
Barrow down south without the province. This delineates the settlement name in this file. The faction creator, uh, this will depend entirely on the mod you're using. So, yeah, you're going to want to look that one up on your own. I can't help you all with that. But because this is close to the Bree land, I am going to be using Normans, which is the Bree uh, faction in the files. I will also want Cardolan Rebels, because it's in Cardolan. And the colour code, which is 172190.18. 172190.18. The next line down is the hidden resources. As you can see up here, I have got a list of them to use. And this is where the map ground types map comes in handy. As you can see, there's a quite a lot of forest and not a lot of grassland in the area that I am moving my cursor around on. So we're going to call this a forest region. It's a part of Cardolan. I don't want any brigands. It's not locked to tower. It's not locked to a uh, village level. And there are no pirates because it's not coastal. I will also quickly search through Cardolan res and count that there's 11 which means this one will be res l which is simply a way to uh, compare these files the regions in other files namely export description buildings the next two lines always well the next line has to be five if it's anything other than five it crashes don't ask me why i don't know the line after that is the farming level. Uh, I'm using one for pretty much all of the regions, so one is a safe bet to use. Then the religions, for which I will just copy the Barrow Downs province. Now, if you're playing Divide and Conquer, the regions will be as follows. The religions, sorry, will be as follows. Catholic is Melkor's Shadow, Dwarven is Dwarven, Islam is the Dunedine, Northman is Northman, Heretic is unimportant, I believe it's Other, Elven is Elven, Orthodox, I'm not entirely sure, it is probably um, Men of the East, Nomadic is Nomadic, Wildmen is Middlemen, and Kings is the culture of the Ar Adunaim, the King's Men. Uh, I will quickly lower the Melkor's shadow culture here, increase these, no, decrease the Islam culture as well. That's a total of 30. Increase Northmen a little bit to bring the total up to, oh no, that's 55 now. So Wildmen has to be 45. If this total is anything other than 100, your game will crash. There's a lot of ways in which you can get this wrong. I'll quickly tally this up again. 15, 40, 55... 100. Good. Then, description sounds, music types. This one's an easy file to use. There's a music type for each religion, and you can say which factions use which music type. We are using Mesoamerican, as it's... Oh, no, we're not, are we? Because it's a Brie, so we use music type Normans. Barrow down south province and that's saved that's all you need to do there imperial campaign regions and settlement names which is found in the following directory data text and this file here the big long name that doesn't stay on the page delete the bin file associated with it this is necessary alternatively you could run fullcleaner.bat uh, which is found here that will delete map.rwm and all of the bin files. I don't like using that. You have to follow the format I display here. And then you need to find a name for the region. What the name is doesn't matter. I'm simply going to call this uh, Upper Cardolan at the moment. And it will be changed later to fit into the theme you can see here. Upper Cardolan and I don't know, let's go with test one. Again, I will change that 
very much later. I just didn't want to leave you hanging while I thought of a name. Now we come to description strategy. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. It's not necessary to do that, but I always do. I add more on the bottom because this is where the rebel settlements are. Then I will always just copy that one, paste it in, Barrow, Down, South, Province. Change that to Turks. Actually, I'll go into Description Regions and change that from Normans to Turks as well. Uh, change the population to be 425. And this has to be that. If you want it to be a village, then this is all you have to do. The level is village. The region is the region name from Description Regions. The year founded, I don't know what that does. I always leave it at zero. Population number is how many people it starts with. Plan set, default set oh, is the only thing that works there. And faction creator Turks. That's the important thing. It determines the battle map and the, cas and the campaign strategy model. If you want to change either of those things, go to somebody who isn't me. I am terrible at all things art. Which is a miracle I managed to create the map as I did. But that was more luck, I think. I'll quickly show you what to do if you want to make a town. Uh, Harlinden. Nope, that's wrong. There we go. If you want to make a large town, then you will also need the export description buildings file so that you can get this building. If you do not have this building, the game will crash if you want it to be a large town because you will not have the wooden wall building. If you want it to be a city, you need the stone wall. And if you want it to be a huge city, you need a huge stone wall. Bear in mind that in Divide and Conquer, huge city and fortress citadel are used for custom strategy models. So don't use those without knowing what they are, or it will look very, very strange. Um, I do believe that's all. Let's quickly load up and see if it worked. I really hope it did, or I'm going to look very, very silly. We shall find out momentarily whether or not it did it work. I don't believe I forgot any files. Oh, no, I did forget a file because I'm using... Yeah, there we go. Crashed there. Because <laughs> I'm using XCFs so I don't mess up the TGAs when I use them. So we go to here, we go to map regions or TGA, check this is Com Conflicts of Eridor version 1, which is not released. Do not see this video and think that I have released the mod. It is not finished and it will not be finished for a long time. Export that. Yes, I would like to replace. Export. Okay, that's that. There we go back to here. Launch it again. If it makes it to the loading, past the loading screen, it's worked. What did I do wrong? I shall be 